Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for July 22nd. So, let's get started. First day in history! On this day in history, July 22nd, 1796, the city of Cleveland was founded by General Moses Cleveland. It's located on Lake Erie. It became a major manufacturing and later an insurance and healthcare center. Today, Cleveland is the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. On this day in 1849, Emma Lazarus was born. She was an American poet best known for her words that appear on a bronze plaque on the wall at the base of the Statue of Liberty. Her words were, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Lazarus's famous lines continue to inspire the way we think about freedom and the role of immigration in our nation's history. And in 1989, the youngest pilot to fly around the world, 11-year-old and fourth grader Tony Ali and Gina, returned to John Wayne Airport in Orange County, California. Nearly seven weeks and 21,567 miles, or 34,707 kilometers, after taking off. The plane crashed while trying to take off from Alaska, while the boy's father was at the controls, giving his son a rest. There were no serious injuries and the journey was completed. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word gibberish. Gibberish is a nonsense language or a language that has no meaning. You might say, I can't understand anything that Lucille is saying. I, I think she's speaking gibberish. Gobbity gobbity googity googity hoopity hobbity hibbity dob. Doesn't make any sense, but it sure is fun to talk in gibberish every once in a while. Blee bockity boo. Today on Extremes, we ask What is the heaviest lobster ever found? The answer is a North Atlantic lobster caught off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. This behemoth was three feet five inches long, or 106 centimeters, and it weighed almost 45 pounds, or 20 kilograms. You know, an average six-year-old weighs about 45 pounds. So imagine eating a 45-pound lobster. You sure would have a full belly after that. And it would take a lot of butter, too. Health tips. <laughs> Building strong muscles is important to your health. And here's a fun exercise you can try. It's called lunging lion. And this exercise is good for your arm muscles. Begin by standing with your legs shoulder width apart, with your knees slightly bent. Bend your elbows and raise your hands by your face like paws. Take a big step forward with your right leg. Keep your right leg in a deep bend. Reach your claw hands forward. Now step back with your right foot to the starting position. Repeat the movement with the left leg. Over and over, the lunging lion. <laughs> I want to talk with you about junk mail. The magazines, catalogs, letters, pamphlets, and special offers that arrive in your mailbox. Mail you don't need and probably you don't want. Do you have any idea how much junk mail is sent each year in America? Eight billion pounds, or over three and a half billion kilograms. And half of it's never opened. It's just thrown away. What an enormous waste. Now here are some things you and your parents can do about it. If the junk mail comes first class, cross out the address and barcode, circle the first class postage and write refused, return to sender. For unwanted catalogs, call the company's 800 number and tell them not to send anymore. Lots of trees will be very happy. They'll be glad you had the spunk to stop 
the junk. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>